Hello. Hello. I first of all, I have to express my admiration for your life work, which is oh. just amazing. Well, thank you. I'm always flattered to hear that. <laughs> I wanted to ask you uh, the, the 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 problem you faced. Uh, uh, probably is mainly about people believing in things so quickly, so easily. Yes. Uh, and being so conditioned with it. Uh, so, uh, what do you think we can do to to? <laughs> It, it's a difficult question to answer because it has many different directions in which it goes. But uh, people find certain ideas attractive and easier than really thinking about them. And uh, they find it uh, simpler, faster, and sometimes, um, well, much easier to have very very shallow, very uh, insignificant uh, evidence in order to prove what they believe. Uh, it's very attractive to believe in gods in the sky and under the earth and uh, all over the universe that are dedicated to you. I, I can't, uh, my ego doesn't permit me <laughs> to have the feeling that I have a whole panoply of gods out there that are all directed just to keep me alive. I think I have to do that myself. But we can say the problem is that people are more prone to rely to answers, quick, easy answers, rather than... Oh, complex. yes. Easy answers is, uh, is more attractive to them, and that should not be. I remember your speech in Prague uh, when you said uh, uh, something along the lines of stay with the questions, question everything before... Oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, Ask questions and uh, think about your answers all the time. Don't just give easy answers that, that come to the lips very easily. Those are not necessarily, sometimes they are the right answers, but uh, sometimes they're not and you've got to be very careful. You have to constantly be aware of how you're thinking and whether that's just the easy answer. It's mm -hmm. not always the easy answer. What would be your advice for the uh, next generation to come? <laughs> well, uh, first of all, I'm 89 years of age, and uh, one bit of advice is don't do stupid things like uh, drugs and, mm. uh, and very attractive things like that. Stay with a real world, a real world that is here and here and here. It may not be as attractive, it may not be as romantic and such, but the real world is the real world and you have to live in that world. Right. You cannot live in something that is created chemically in your brain. Right. Last question. What do you think about the future? What is your personal opinion about the future? Well, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful, but uh, sometimes politics, sometimes uh, different philosophies that are generated by uh, politicians and such, it can affect our thinking. You have to be very, very careful about that. Always look around you, listen to what you can hear and be critical, be critical. Critical thinking, very serious, heavy critical thinking is very important. And uh, you too may live to be 89 plus.